Hi, welcome back to North State Law. My name is Nick Dogel. I'm the owner and founder of North State Law. Uh, today we're going to be talking a little bit about uh, what goes on in investigations and who you should talk to about uh, what's going on in your professional license defense case. So question really becomes, who do I talk to if I'm a licensed professional and I have a border state agency complaint against me? So the first person that you talk to is an attorney, whether it's me or somebody else. I don't care. I just want to make sure that you talk to an attorney so you get good advice and you don't do something that's going to severely damage your case in the long run. Um, there are some agencies and licensing boards that will require you to be available to speak with an investigator. That's not all of them. That's typically in the minority. That's going to be a, a relatively low percentage, probably going to be about 25 to 30% of all state agencies, licensing boards that require you to be available to speak with a, an investigator with that border state agency. Um, there could be particular situations where say there's a criminal investigation that's going on with the uh, state agency or licensing board case and say you're required by statute or administrative code to speak with the investigator with border state agency um, you may have to just say you know what i can't do that i have a criminal investigation going on on the same particular manner i'm going to plead the fifth uh at the advice of my counsel you know whoever that might end up being we've decided x y or z um because at the end of the day you got to protect your your individual freedom if there's a criminal case the investigators for whatever border state agency, they can provide whatever statements you give them to law enforcement or district attorney's office as prosecuting your case. You gotta be very careful there. Now, do you talk to anybody else? Can you talk to family members, friends, coworkers, whatever the case may be? Um, I wouldn't, I don't think that that's a good idea. And the reason being is especially if it's coworkers, they're going to say whatever you told them to an investigator with the border state agency. I almost guarantee it. Uh, family members, you know, obviously you trust your family members, you trust your close friends. At the end of the day though, they do not have any sort of privilege not to tell a third party. You talk to an attorney, uh, that's protected by the attorney client privilege. We cannot discuss your case with a third party. Um, unless we have prior authorization to do so. Um, and that's gotta be in writing and signed by the client and, and all that good stuff. So you gotta be really, really careful who you talk to about your case because that information can get back to an investigator with the board um, or can get back to anybody with the board and then they'll go through and be in the investigator's report. So you wanna avoid all that stuff. So don't really have loose lips when you're talking about your case. Talk with your attorney about it. Um, maybe if you, you're going to therapy, uh, talk with a licensed therapist um, or psychologist, psychiatrist. They have certain confidentiality that prohibits them from disclosing that information to a third party as well. Um, but absent somebody like that, it's not really a good idea to go be telling a bunch of people what's going on in your business because that could severely hamper your case further on down the road and you want to avoid doing that, right? So got any questions on this, uh, check out my website. It's northstatelawfirm.com. I got a lot of blogs on there. I also have a lot of videos on YouTube. Uh, obviously, you're watching one of them. And uh, if you can't see, you find the information in either one of those spots, give my office a call. It's 919-521-8810 and set up a free 15-minute discovery call. And we can answer any questions that you can't find uh, that's not available on our website or on your YouTube channel. So I hope everybody has a great day. Thank you very much for stopping by. Bye-bye.